Hey there, my name is Provis, and welcome to more Rebel Inc. Escalation official scenarios. Last time we did corporate development, and the next scenario would be the Ultra Mega Insurgency. But no, no, please, dear God, no, skip. This scenario is unbelievably unfair and difficult. It's going to take me a long time to actually put together a strategy that even stands a chance on this one. It's, it's ridiculous. Even on normal or brutal difficulty, it's ridiculous. So instead, let's move on to Immortal Fortress. The insurgents are going to have a base of operations in an ancient mountain fortress. If we can take it down, we win the scenario outright. So what we're going to be doing is going for an extremely aggressive playthrough. I think you can go for the general on this one. The warlord is probably going to be a better choice, so we'll go ahead and pick them up. There are a few different advisors we're going to need here, though. The sensor is absolutely necessary. The chef is a super requirement. I don't think there's any point in going for the tax collector. You need either private donor or the realist in order to stand a chance here. Realist can be good to save a bit of reputation. Private donor just to get your money up and running a little bit faster. And the tourist for some extra intel because we don't care about support level, believe it or not. So, yeah. And then delaying the start of the insurgency is irrelevant, but none of the other ones here are going to do anything for me. So, uh, I guess... I guess we'll just go ahead and leave that as it is. All right, Mega Brutal, we're going to call this one Hot Rain. And here goes nothing. Now, weirdly enough, because they effectively have an embassy, all we need to do is take out the Mountain Fortress located right here. We do not care about building up support level with anyone else. It is irrelevant. All that matters is building up a military as fast as we can and beating them down before I run out of reputation. And that's where things are going to get tricky. Your HQ can be located right here or right here. I'd recommend here. So we have some basically free garrison support in a couple of crucial mountains early on. We do need to get some intelligence. So we'll pick that up. We could gain some reputation and decrease support level. Who cares? I'm fine with that. We could also just increase our money, which I'll go ahead and do with that. That's one of the reasons the Warlord ends up being pretty good. Because when you don't care about support level, it turns out you can be a ruthless dictator. And that's completely fine. We need to go for the Coalition Soldiers. We have to wait for like a single day tick for that to work or something. Hang on one moment. Come on. Come on. There we go. They fire off really, really early on because the insurgents are already swarming all over the place. We're going to go ahead and train up two Coalition Soldiers right away. Peace is not possible. That's fine. Locate these guys right up here in the mountains. They'll hopefully start reinforcing each other. A couple things we're going to need include extra airstrikes. And honestly, another Coalition Soldier would be very helpful early on. Um, something we can get here is coordinated fire teams, which allows our soldiers to support even while fighting, which is great. And then we're also going to want surveillance equipment to start getting some intel, because your guys can't reinforce each other unless they actually have some intel, so that's going to be important. We're going to wait for these guys to get close to trained up, then we're going to go for another Coalition Soldier. No point in placing them down right now, because then we'll just have to... Um, We'll have their, uh, you know, going home event a little bit sooner. So now these guys are going to be fighting. We're going to place a Coalition Soldier right here trying to provide some reinforcements. We've got intel. We found these guys. Now we go for heavier ordnance on our airstrikes in order to try and win some of these fights. And everything is now going to come down to winning these fights as fast as possible. You can see that they are providing reinforcements. The further you can break into this line and prevent them from reinforcing each other, the stronger your position is going to be. We would also like to send a soldier down over here in order to break that up. So we're going to go for some of the extra reinforcements. You can see we get extra coalition troops right along over here and send someone off in that direction in order to try and get some extra reinforcements and also prevent them from reinforcing each other, which just gives me a slightly better chance. Breaking through this line is absolutely crucial. Now, we can go for interpreters and guides and the human terrain system. We're going to need that just to gain our intel in these areas, because, again, you don't fight very effectively unless you get that. But you'll notice that's going to make a pretty big difference having these extra reinforcements. We just won these two fights, and now we're going to push them back. I'm going to leave the rules unchanged for our airstrikes. That's not too important right now. Get that intel as quick as you can, please, and thank you. More troops would be nice, but a little bit too aggressive right now. Let's instead start getting extra intel on all neighboring zones a little bit faster. We're going to apparently knock out some of these insurgent camps. That's fine. Now, don't be worried about the fact that the insurgents are going to be running rampant all over the map. That is unavoidable. It's going to happen. What we need to do is simply push to surround and then take down this fortress as quick as is humanly possible. That's all we care about. I'm going to try moving this guy in over here. It's going to be a bit risky, but I think we need to. And I think this guy we can now move over here. If we can punch through this line and prevent any reinforcements, it'll be easier to take this zone. Once I take this zone, then you circle around and try to move in here and then finally take down the fortress itself. 
We do have the ability to get more Coalition Soldiers, and we're gonna need as many as we can get just for the raw reinforcements. Other things that can be helpful, though, would include drones. It is nice to have the drones if you can get them. Uh, this guy wants to leave. We're gonna go for short extensions, believe it or not, not the long extensions. Because I really, really, really want to preserve my uh, reputation for as long as possible. And if we're going fast enough, it shouldn't need a long reputation. Shouldn't is the operative word. Could be wrong on that. Let's go ahead and train up another Coalition Soldier. Uh, from here on out, I think we start training up some drones. Uh, or, or rapid airstrikes in order to do as much damage as quickly as possible. We need to take this zone very quickly so that I can then move these soldiers onto the main base, which is happening right now. Let's go ahead and move right now like this. And all of these guys, even while fighting, will start providing some extra reinforcing support. This guy, believe it or not, we probably could send home. We shouldn't need him at this point. I'm gonna just wait on this until the last second, just to provide extra reinforcements in case something comes up, but there we go. Let's go for more frequent airstrikes, because lots of heavy ordnance is always a very helpful thing. Uh, I don't think we can do much about this. I'm just gonna go ahead and publicly accuse, uh, even though they increase their capabilities. Hopefully it doesn't matter. We're gonna go ahead and send you home, keeping that reputation as high as possible. It usually comes down to seconds on this one. This scenario really does require that you move super duper fast. Let's go for some drones for the free intelligence. Makes it a little bit easier to spot these guys. Okay, this is where I'm wrong on the whole short extension thing. Um, we're gonna have to do one more of these. And then this guy's gonna have to do a short extension as well. Notice that we're sacking a lot of reputation. One thing we can do is go for the outreach office, then start getting things like universal justice and democratic transition just to buy a smidge more reputation for the last minute. Yeah, we should have gone for long extensions on these guys. I was wrong on that. That would have been the smarter way to go. Uh, we have to do another short one here. There's a camp. We are now reinforcing in all directions. We're really close. These guys are gonna die. There we go. Now we're taking down the base. All right. I just need a little bit more reputation to survive. Let's go for the Universal Justice. Buy me a moment. Notice that we have a lack of stability plus lots of insurgent activity. Come on, dismantle the base. I'm watching the reputation tick down. We can now go for the Democratic Transition. I'm gonna ignore these guys' plea to return home. There goes the fort. Okay, now we just go ahead and send home. And just like that, the insert, whoop, 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 whoop. We're gonna allow the coalition to uh, let these guys leave. Um, just like that, we are gonna win this scenario because once their embassy falls apart, the insurgents all give up and flee. Came down to the wire though, didn't it? Really came down to the wire as far as reputation. That's the risk of this strategy. You really need to stabilize nice and fast. Uh, I guess we'll have to publicly accuse again. Um, I would like to, oh gosh, we're really close there. Ooh. I would have liked to prioritize elections, but yeah, down to five reputation is all we had left. If I had done maybe a couple of, oh gosh, this is gonna be really dangerous. <laughs> down to three then. If I had gone for the uh, double extensions on these guys, we might've been better off, but oh well. Two reputation remaining and we win. <laughs> One star, terrible score, truly abysmal score, but hey, you win by going hyper aggressive. And my experience on Mega Brutal, trying to stabilize the zone is a really risky endeavor. Not impossible, just really hard to pull off. Better to go for the quick and dirty thing, and this ultimately only took just a few minutes. Fun scenario. Thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.